Southern California Lexus. Call 1-800-USA-LEXUS for important lease offer and pricing details. Not all customers will qualify. Offer valid in the Lexus Western areas only and February 2nd, 2015. And we certainly have not been uh, meaning to neglect the uh, San Gabriel Valley. Uh, Scott Burt, though, did give you an update on the uh, 10 or, and the 210. Now he's going to complete his travels in the San Gabriel Valley and let you know about the 60 freeway. Far west of the uh, 57 to 160 loads up around Nogales as you head out through the 605 toward uh, San Pavani into uh, Montebello. Uh, before that, expect some slang at a Chino, though, heading out uh, through the 71 toward uh, the 57. And that South 57 looks to be small around Temple as you head down through the 60 merge. Now, if you are uh, just getting your car on the southbound 55, uh, let's say uh, you're getting on the freeway around Roxford and uh, you see the brake lights ahead and you're, you're wondering what is the deal with the southbound 5. Well, from the 118, unfortunately, all the way down just about to the 134 was all because of our earlier issues that we had around Scott Road. That was an ongoing signaler. was there for about three hours. Uh, everything now cleared out of the way and trying to pick up the piece on the southbound 5. Do not opt for the southbound 170. It is incredibly bad here from Sherman Way all the way down through the Hollywood split. and really doesn't get too much better until you stop about Barham. Uh, how about that 405 in the San Fernando Valley? I'm sure that's a great ride, right, Mike Baez? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great drive here on the 405 southbound about Roscoe. You hit that slow traffic. That'll remain busy beyond the 101 up and over the hill towards Sunset. Northbound slow coming up from LAX. You're right about La Cienega past the 10, finally getting better here right about Santa Monica Boulevard. And we'll check in with Orange County here in our uh, next report. Give you a, a nice and detailed look for you. Traffic and weather together on the fives. Next report's at 8.05 from your Southern California traffic leader, KNX 1070 at CBSLA.com. It's going to be mostly cloudy up to about 70 or so today. Right now, downtown has 55 degrees. And when searching for solar roofing, search Peterson Dayton Solar. Are you paying too much for your auto insurance? You might be if you're not with Mercury Insurance because their super agents are on a mission to save you money. In fact, you could save hundreds if you switch. See for yourself by getting a fast, free quote at Mercury. MercuryInsurance.com. That's MercuryInsurance.com. KNX 8757. Now the story of Johnny Depp and the Chupacabra. Here we go. I would love to uh, uh, apologize. So he's in Tokyo, and his apology is for missing a news conference yesterday. And they were asking him, sort of, you know, what happened? And he said, it was a Chupacabra. So listen to his explanation. I've cut out most of the translator, but here you go. I fought with it for hours. They're very persistent, very mean. And I'm pretty sure... It came in my suitcase. I threw him off the 23rd floor. <laughs> so we'll never see him again. <laughs> what happened to him? Did you like, <laughs> no, I was just, did you, like <laughs> go someplace when the rest of us weren't watching? <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened and there? And it's the Chupacabra. <laughs> The guy who puts the teams together for the Grammys, Scott Con Bennett, Annie Lennox, and Hosier. Today, producer Ken Ehrlich gets a star on the Walk of Fame. It's going to be in front of Capitol Records. Stevie Wonder, John Legend, and Lil Cool J will be among the speakers. And speaking of John Legend, his partner in this song, Glory, Calm. It. It's going to be among those at the TV Academy tonight for an evening with Norman Lear. It features a discussion on TV music and hip hop culture between Lear. And Common and Russell Simmons. I think that'll be really cool. Yeah. KNX News Time 758. Hi, I'm Larry Green, CEO of System Pavers, and I've got great news for all listeners. One of our key manufacturers overproduced at your end and is highly motivated to reduce current inventory levels. System Pavers, America's largest designer and installer of elegant outdoor living systems, has been incentivized to move this inventory fast. This means huge and unprecedented seasonal savings for our clients. So we're slashing prices on some of our most popular paving stones, but it's only while supplies last. What a great opportunity to give your home an outdoor makeover with a beautiful new driveway, walkway, patio, or pool deck. You could save hundreds, even thousands, but you must call now at 877-PAVE-002. Don't wait. This price reduction applies to all new projects and stone deliveries for February whilst supplies last. 877-PAVE-002, 877-PAVE-002, or systempavers.com. Contractors license number 661575. KNX 1070 AM and HD, AMP, HD 2 Los Angeles. KNX 1070 News.
Radio, broadcasting live from the Southern California BMW Newsroom. Visit SoCalBMW.com today for exceptional lease and finance offers. Top stories out at 759. More housing for homeless veterans. The location, underutilized property on the West LA Veterans Medical Center site. I'm Pete Demetrio. I'm Margaret Carrero in Monterey Park, where a crossing guard struck and killed at the corner he watched over is remembered as a good man. And overnight fires at a couple of homes in El Monte left 24 people temporarily homeless. With Vicki Mar, I'm Dick Elton, traffic and weather together on the fives, and CBS News is coming up next. All news, all the time. Southern California's only all news radio station. CBS News. I'm Steve Cave and Jordan's government appears ready to meet ISIS demands to get a Jordanian pilot released from captivity. CBS's Margaret Brennan at the State Department. They said today they would be willing to hand over a female Iraqi prisoner named Sajida Al-Rashawi who was involved in a 2005 suicide bomb attack in Jordan. But Jordan says they're only going to go through with this if their pilot is handed over. His plane was downed over an ISIS stronghold in Syria while he was helping to carry out some of those coalition airstrikes. It's not clear if any deal would include a Japanese journalist held by the terrorists. His mother made a public call today for the country's prime minister to do all he can to free him. Moments ago in a South Carolina court. Defendant's convictions for trespassing in January of 1961 are vacated, no void, and set aside. A judge tossed out the convictions of the Friendship Nine black men arrested for integrating a whites-only lunch counter. The judge is the nephew of the judge in the original case, and he said we can't rewrite history, but we can write history. In Washington, confirmation hearings going on for President Obama's choice to replace Attorney General Eric Holder. Let's check in live with CBS's Pam Coulter. Steve, in her opening statement, Loretta Lynch said fighting terrorism and cyber security will be among her priorities as Attorney General and pledged the Constitution would be her guide. I will fulfill my responsibilities with integrity and independence. Republicans are questioning Lynch on executive power, immigration, and the IRS. Judiciary Chair Chuck Grassley. Those are probably things you have with, but you have an opportunity to make some changes. Democrats say those issues have nothing to do with Lynch's sterling qualifications, Steve. Well, the country's top military leaders are testifying before Congress about shrinking forces and budgets during a dangerous time. I believe this is the most uncertain I have seen the national security environment in my nearly 40 years of service. Army Chief of Staff General Ray Odierno. They're digging out and cleaning up in eastern New England, battered by a blizzard that dumped more than two feet of snow in some places. CBS's Chris Van Cleve along the coast in Marshfield, Massachusetts. What I'm seeing right now, waves crashing over the seawalls. There are lobster traps laying in the middle of the roadway. Several homes had their foundations damaged by the combination of near hurricane force winds and an abnormally high tide. It pushed debris into these houses, washed debris across the street. Power crews are working to restore electricity to thousands of homes and businesses in Massachusetts. In a deal on Tobacco Road, shareholders have approved Reynolds Americans' planned $25 billion takeover of rival cigarette maker Lorillard. Wall Street, the Dow is down eight points. This is CBS News. Finding homes for homeless vets. We're live in West L.A. And CSU students may soon have to pay for their success. Good morning, I'm Dick Hilton. And I'm Vicki Moore. It's Wednesday, January 28th. Here's what's happening at 8.03. Going to be a big announcement in West L.A. out of the VA Center this afternoon. It's all about finding some homes for homeless veterans. We have the most in the country. Get the latest live from West L.A. KNX 1070's Pete Demetrio. The Veterans Affairs Secretary Robert McDonald will be outlining the proposal in an afternoon news conference. That will probably include the locations on the West L.A. VA site where housing could be built. This is all due to a lawsuit which apparently is being settled out of court. Now, the ACLU filed that suit three years ago contending the VA was leasing property to private organizations such as a TV studio for storage of sets or a parking company rather than using it to build units 
to serve homeless veterans. Now, if the units are built, there's definitely a need. There's an estimated 4,200 homeless veterans sleeping on the streets of L.A. and hopes that the VA would not only get them off the street, but put them in the proximity to the services they desperately need. In West Los Angeles, I'm Pete Demetrio, KNX 1070 News Radio. Is it a success fee or is it a tuition hike? It is a debate at the California State University trustees today. They're going to have a big meeting to talk about all this. They call them success fees. Critics say the fees are just a way to get around the current tuition freeze. We talked to this morning with the CSU Chancellor Timothy White. He says students are clairvoyant about their futures and they're willing to pay. Students realize that sometimes having better access to libraries, better access to faculty allows them to get in and, and to degree sooner and a high quality degree and get on with their life. Those of these, by the way, are already in place on 12 of the 23 campuses. Got a problem on the 57 this morning. Let's get to it. KNX News, I'm 805. Traffic and weather together on the five is being brought to you by 3D Printer World Expo this weekend. And here's Desmond. Yeah, thanks to Tipster Kitty. You just got a phone. Now let me know. She saw it sounded like a dramatic wreck here. Northbound 57 right around the Tonner Canyon. She saw a vehicle fly off the freeway and on to Brea Canyon Road. And amazingly, she saw the woman get out of her car and seemed to be okay. That's uh, kind of incredible. But either way, you're going to find some uh, right shoulder activity northbound 57 there right around Tonner Canyon and then on Brea Canyon Road as well may have uh, lanes blocked, maybe one-way control traffic there along the 57. That's on the northbound side, just slow approaching. But southbound, of course, that is the volume side from Diamond Bar down into Orange County. Plenty of stopping and going. Just a little bit of a break there as you come out of Brea Pass. Otherwise, definitely not a good morning there. And that southbound 55 is also uh, going to be suffering here. It's still Coming away from Catella, the uh, thickest of it down through the 5, it looks like south there you'll be breathing a little bit easier. In the northbound 5, uh, everyone's uh, still uh, looks like they're grinding along here, coming off the 133 toll road trying to get through the Orange Crush. Let's check it on the 605 now. That's where we find Scott Bird over in KNXR 1070. Well, we are making the turn to head over to the uh, 57. We should have an uh, update on that uh, within a report or two. The uh, 605 up to its usual tricks. Uh, southbound looks to be slow around Whittier Boulevard down toward the 5, and northbound expects flowing here from the uh, Cerritos area heading up toward the interchange. We'll change gears now and get a uh, look here at part of Pacific Coast Highway, courtesy of Mike Byers. Uh, uh, following this all the way out from uh, Decker Canyon, so far inbound traffic is good out of Malibu. The uh, only place that you're going to see some crowding here are right about uh, Topanga down toward a little bit past sunset toward Tomasco. And uh, heads up on the northbound 5 at Osborne, getting reports here of a, a stalled vehicle in the number 2 lane, but it's southbound here. Good night from the uh, 118. Uh, still trying to get down through Burbank Heavy because of earlier issues we have. Traffic and weather together on the 5s. Next report, 815 from your Southern California traffic leader, KNX 1070 and CBSLA.com. I'm CBS 2 meteorologist Evelyn Taft, and this is your exclusive 5-day forecast. Temperature is starting to warm up a little bit today as a ridge of high pressure rebuilds over Southern California. By tomorrow, we're expecting cloudier conditions and a slight chance of rain late tomorrow into your Friday. Uh, best chance for the mountains and the foothills and then dry and much warmer by the weekend. We're talking 70s and sunshine. Slightly cooler and cloudier by the beginning of next week. That's your five-day forecast with the weekend always in sight here at KNX 1070 News Radio. Studio City has 54 now. Culver City at 56. Huntington Beach at 52. A beloved crossing guard out in Monterey Park. Been on the job for years and years. 76 years old. Killed on the job. A lot of people grieving his loss this morning. Let's go live to the scene in Monterey Park. KNX 1070's Margaret Carrera. Just a few moments ago, Carp Garcia and her daughter stopped by to bring a bouquet of flowers to the corner here at Garfield and Elmgate, where a memorial is growing in tribute to 76-year-old Abel Castellano. It's pretty sad because this is a man that was out here, cold, rainy day, summer, and protecting not only the kids, but the adults, the grandparents. Sarah, her daughter, remembers seeing him on her way to school every morning, and although she didn't really know him personally, she says... He seemed like a really, like, nice man, and... Always friendly. The CHP investigating that accident to determine if speed, speed may have played a role. The 19-year-old driver behind the wheel did stop at the scene, but so far there's been no word on any arrest. Reporting live in Monterey Park, Margaret Carrero, KNX 1070 News Radio. Investigators on the scene this morning after a big fire in a residence in El Monte. Fire officials say 24 people now have no place to live after the flames hit the home. We got the call at 309. We responded. They had fire in the front of the first building with exposure into the second. One person up apparently was taken to the hospital with burns. Super close. The election results out of Orange County. This is for the first district supervisor's seat. The last word is that only two votes separate the front runners. All the votes have been tabulated except for the mail-in and the provisional ballots. Turn, uh, turnout was just about 19 percent. A special election held to fill the seat of Supervisor Janet Wynn, who was elected to the state Senate.
And money news. Frank Botek coming up for you next. KNX News Time 809. 3D printing is revolutionizing business, education, and the arts. Learn all about it at 3D Printer World on January 29th through the 31st at the Marriott Burbank. Over 100 3D printers in action. Seminars, prizes, demos, and networking events. Visit 3dprinterworld.com. Ripped from the headlines, here's another reminder about the importance of protecting our identities. Chick-fil-A has confirmed that it's investigating a possible data breach at its restaurants. The company hasn't provided details on how many of its locations might have been involved. But one security expert's estimate places the number of potentially affected credit cards as high as 9,000. Stories like this are precisely why I have LifeLock Ultimate Plus Identity Theft Protection. It goes beyond just notifying you of debit and credit card transactions, providing protection for your identity, bank and retirement accounts, even the equity in your home. Look, no one can stop all identity theft, but LifeLock Ultimate Plus is the most comprehensive identity theft protection available. Visit LifeLock.com and use promo code NEWS or call and mention NEWS to save 10%. Call 1-800-611-8540. 800-611-8540. 800-611-8540. Network does not cover all transactions. KNX News Time with 10. An update on your uh, money news for you right now. Brought to you by Galpa Twitters. And here is Frank. Big day for Apple stockholders today. The stock is popping more than $7 now at one sixteen On the record-shattering earnings report that Apple came out with after the closing bell yesterday. Um, Record-shattering iPhone 6 sales. They sold 74.5 million iPhones in the three months that ended in December. Apple plans to start selling its highly anticipated smartwatch in April, according to Apple CEO Tim Cook. The stock market still struggling following yesterday's big losses. In fact, it was the biggest intraday loss in about four years yesterday. It dropped nearly 400 points, finally settling for a loss of 291 points for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We got off to a pretty decent start, but it looks like that rally is fizzling out here now with the Dow just 19 points, NASDAQ's of 12, and the S&P 500 at the moment unchanged. We do see oil stocks helping the uh, to drag the market a bit lower again as the price of oil hovers near a six-year low. Money News at 10 40 past the hour. Frank Motek, KNX 1070 News Radio. 210, La Cunada slower than usual this morning. Desmond Shaw is going to get you around at your traffic on the fives. Coming up next, KNX News Time at 11. Hi, this is Bo Bachman from Galvin Volkswagen. 2014 was a special year for us. Galvin VW became the number one volume Volkswagen dealer in California and the entire western United States. What makes this achievement even more special is that Galvin VW has only been open for less than three years. We know this wouldn't have been possible without our incredible and loyal customers, our incredible team here at Galpin VW, and of course, the incredible deals. So if you're interested in a new or used Volkswagen, I invite you to visit Galpin VW today and experience the difference for yourself. And if you currently drive a VW, whether you purchase it from Galpin or not, we would like to offer you a free oil change. No strings attached. All we ask is that you make an appointment by calling 1-800-GO-GALPIN or visit galpinvw.com. So if you are even remotely considering a new or used VW or just want a free oil change on your current Volkswagen, come visit Galpin VW today. Galpin VW, conveniently located just off the 405 freeway or click on galpinvw.com. Hi, I'm Pam Baker and I'm here with the best LASIK doctor in the world in my opinion, Dr. Musa. Can you believe it's been 15 years since my LASIK with you and I still see better than 2020? Pam, it's very special for me to hear from you after all these years and as you you know, at Excel Laser Vision Institute, we are committed to excellence. Well, I'm very excited now because it's time for my daughter to have LASIK and I will only refer her to you. I appreciate your confidence and expertise and over the last 15 years I've had the privilege to help many thousands of people, including my dad and now my son is enjoying great vision with LASIK as well. Call Dr. Musa today. You can reach him at 866-92-EXCEL. Dr. Musa is Harvard trained and a genuine expert in the latest laser technology. Call now for a free consultation. 866 to E-X-C-E-L. That's a $250 value. Call 866-923-9235 and pay zero down, zero interest for two years. 866-923-9235. See the future clearly. 15, 27, 18, hike. Oh, you're, you're recording now? Oh, 
Here we go. And now, your top reasons to watch the big game at Morongo's Big Game Blitz. Number five. We're transforming our ballroom into football headquarters. With room for hundreds of fans to enjoy the big game. Number four. Enough food and drinks to feed a locker room of hungry linebackers. Served throughout the game. Three. Giant TVs everywhere you look. So you never miss a second of the action. Number two. Raffle drawings between each quarter and halftime. Or you can win great prizes and gear. And the number one reason to go to Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Jim Hill hosting the big game and sharing an expert analysis. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Conveniently located on the I-10. Less than 90 minutes from wherever you are. Morongo. Good times. KNX is getting out and about. I heard you're right down the road from me, so I had to come and hear you guys. With KNX on your corner. Presented by Community Bank. I gotta stop by. You know, it's great. <laughs> on Friday, January 30th, listen all day for special reports on the world's media capital, Burbank. While overlooking the city from the landmark restaurant, The Castaway, you're invited to join us for free appetizers, refreshments, and that world-famous view from 1 to 7 p.m. Get more information at cbsla.com slash on your corner. Sponsored in part by Premier Auto, West Coast. Kenix is on 15, traffic and weather together on the fives, and here's Desmond. And, uh, yeah, we're talking about the uh, 210 here. I think this may be the chain reaction effect. A lot of people getting freaked out at what was happening earlier with the 5 freeway. I've, uh, I've done it myself before. You swing around on that 210 and then uh, double back to get to a Burbank or Glendale, something like that. And this eastbound 210, definitely worse than usual. I know you get some volume as you head through locking out of Flint Ridge, but today it's essentially out of Lakeview Terrace, just about back from, from what I can see. It looks like about Osborne Street. Osborne, most of the way uh, into a Pasadena there on that eastbound 210 is uh, definitely a bad ride this morning. And that aforementioned problem was the 5 at Scott Road. Now, all lanes have long since been open, but uh, the southbound 5 on and off the brakes from before the 118 in towards downtown Burbank. Southbound 170 was heavily affected with this as well. And that southbound 405 is uh, quite a bearish drive. Let's check out uh, the 101 in the San Fernando Valley now with Mike Baez, KNX Air 1070. So far, eastbound side out of Woodland Hills here, starting to see some slow traffic from Winnetka over into Sherman Oaks. Westbound actually pretty good leaving the 405 here, but it will start to slow up here right about DeSoto. That'll stay busy toward Valley Circle from there. Not a bad drive into Agoura Hills. We'll head down to the 91 now. Uh, Scott Burt found a little something here on the Artesia portion of the freeway. Uh, this is a pretty uh, new crash, 91 eastbound uh, Valley View Orange store. Uh, thanks to Rick, they called this in as well. Looks like the middle lanes are blocked. Multi-vehicle crash here. Just starting to back up, so avoid that if you can. Also, so some of the Santa Ana freeway, South 5 is heavy uh, from the 91 heading down toward the Orange Crush. Scotty's on his way over towards the uh, 57 freeway to check on uh, something earlier we had around Tonner Canyon. Sounded like a kind of a crazy wreck with somebody who flew over the side of the freeway onto Bray Canyon, so we'll hopefully sort that out in our next report. Traffic and weather together on the fives. Our next report, 825, from your Southern California traffic leader, KNX 1070 and CBSLA.com. Uh, cloudy skies today. Temps will be up to about 70 or so. Uh, about the same thing coming our way tomorrow. That's from Evelyn Taft at CBS2. Uh, currently, Curry Hills has 50, Pacoma has 55, and in Sherman Oaks right now, it's 52 degrees. And this is Southern California's only all-news radio station, KNX 1070 News Radio. I'm Dick Hilton. And I'm Vicki Moore. You're going to hear a lot about e-cigarettes a little later today. State health officials to release a report expected to warn the public about what they say are emerging health risks connected to the increasing use of e-cigarettes. Betty Ford Clinic going to hold a ribbon cutting today. It's an open house for an outpatient addiction treatment clinic in uh, West Hollywood. Lou Gossett Jr. and some other folks are going to be there for that. Uh, also, city council members, they're talking about retrofitting homes again for earthquakes. That keeps uh, going through the channels there. Disneyland, folks, you know how there's all these people that like just are crazy for Disneyland? There are those people. They yes. buy little ears and things and carry <laughs> them around. Uh, so Disneyland's going to uh, be talking to the media today about the plans for the 60th anniversary of the Diamond Celebration. I suppose they'll get questions about measles. Oh, hmm. I don't, My, hello? <laughs> I think they say up front, we're not going to take any questions about that. <laughs> Only good stuff today. Anyhow, so you hear more about that as well. And a lot of museums are going to be free in L.A. this weekend. The annual event known as the Museum's Free for All lives up to its name. The California Science Center, LACMA, MOCA, the Getty Center, and Villa, and most of the other participants participating museums will let visitors in free of charge on Saturday. The Museum of Tolerance and Zimmer Children's Museum will do so on Sunday. The deal is only for general museum admission, specially ticketed exhibitions are not included. Some venues require timed tickets. Claudia Pescuta, KNX 1070 News Radio. We're talking balls in a couple of minutes. Football. <laughs> Super Bowl. 
don't don't do that. Yes, go ahead. Just don't do that. Anyhow. Yes, uh, the Super Bowl is uh, coming up this weekend. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, my my wife Carol and I just discovered, and we hadn't thought about this before. You know what's going to what we're going to be doing when the Super Bowl is going on this mm-hmm, weekend? Mm-hmm. We're going to be flying in an airplane. Oh, seriously? We're going to miss the whole thing. Oh, we're going to just miss it. All right then, I'm going to be watching it. I know you will. I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to eat lots of food, and there's like, going to be a guacamole. You're going to have like a party platter and the whole mouth. thing going on. Anyhow, that's coming up 8:22. Uh, we're going to talk to an NFL analyst about the Super Bowl coming up this weekend. All things Super Bowl. KNX News Time 8:19. When searching for a Subaru, search Buddy Hill Subaru. Earnings vary based on your effort. Do you want to learn how to make money flipping houses right here in the greater Los Angeles area? If so, we have an amazing opportunity for you. We're looking for a small group of motivated individuals to join our real estate investing team. You'll learn our simple three-step system for flipping homes right here in the local area. This is Stan Merrill, star of A&E's hit TV show, Flip This House. My team and I are looking for a handful of people in the greater Los Angeles area who want to learn how to make money flipping houses in your spare time using other people's money. The greater Los Angeles area is a perfect market for my system, and this week I'm holding a free two-hour educational workshop where you will learn how to make money flipping homes and how to build long-term wealth with income properties. To get two free tickets to Than's Workshop, call 1-800-338-8259. Seating is extremely limited. Call right now because this free ticket offer expires this Friday. That's 1-800-338-8259. That's 1-800-338-8259. There's so much talk radio out there with all these opinions. Green Matter matters with KNX. Just give me the news and I'll form my own opinion. Be in the know. I don't want to miss out on what's going on. KNX 1070 News Radio. KNX News Time 820. The Lakers are turning back the clock. Does that mean they're going to win? Here's Randy Cardoon. Boy, you got to go back to the Chucky Atkins days to remember seeing a kind of Laker team in this kind of tailspin. Chris Mim, Stanislas Medvedenko. Boy, those bring back memories. Memories none of us want. This is the 2004-05 season. Lakers of 2014-15 lose their ninth in a row, 98-92 to Washington. Can they avoid a team-tying record 10th uh, straight loss? With the Bulls coming in, who just beat the Warriors last night, I'm not liking their chances. San Diego State beat Fresno State 58-47. Hockey, duck stomp on the Canucks 4-0. Super Bowl activities continuing this morning, and everybody's putting in their two cents on who should win and how, including actor William Shatner. Yep, Captain Kirk himself telling ESPN what has to happen for the Patriots to win. Listen to this. Somebody from Boston has to go up to uh, Pete Carroll. And hug him. You know, he's a hugger. Oh, yeah. He's a lover. He's a lover. He's got that great smile. He hugs his players. He loves his players. He pats them on the back. He grabs them. The... And all this person has to do is put their hands through his hair. Total destruction. Can you say assault charges? Sports, 20 and 50 minutes past each hour. Randy Cardoon, KNX 1070 News Radio. More of the Super Bowl coming up in just a moment. Brought to you now by Pacific Coast Termite. Termite, I presume? Hey, I'm watching my favorite show. Sorry, but you've done thousands in damage, and the owners are canceling your series. I thought it. Where's the tent? Pacific Coast Termite uses orange oil, so the tent won't be necessary. Plus, it's less than you think. The family gets to stay, and there's a two-year guarantee to keep you off the air for good. My favorite part. No problem. This is your final act. Call Pacific Coast Termite for your free inspection today at 1-800-PACIFIC. And if you call now, you'll get an additional 10% off the service in any repairs, including wood repairs, insulation, and rat exclusion. With over 35,000 home treatments, Pacific Coast Termite is proud to maintain a perfect Better Business Bureau rating. Call us at 1-800-PACIFIC. That's 1-800-722-4342. Or visit PacificCoastTermite.com. Free inspection not applicable for homes for sale or an escrow. KNX News Time, 823. So it is uh, one of the biggest uh, sporting events uh, on the globe coming up on uh, Sunday. It is the Super Bowl. It's all about football. Will it be also about this? Let's take domestic violence out of football. Paid for by Ultraviolet. Amy Trask, NFL analyst at CBS Sports, former CEO of the uh, Raiders, uh, joining us now live. Amy, I mean, it's a big game, and obviously the NFL and uh, Roger Goodell want to shine as much good light on it, but how can they escape all of the things that have been going on with the league over the last uh, several months? It has been an an interesting season for the league in that regard. Uh, Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson, now the ball situation, uh, the football situation up in New England. Um, But you know what? These stories do not 
seem to take away from the avid viewership of the games themselves. Um, it appears as if there's an absolute line, if you will, a bright line between the news stories on the one hand, all of which have generated and should generate tremendous attention, and then our avid, avid passion for the game. Yeah, but uh, I mean, obviously, uh, with the Patriots in the game, uh, the analysts uh, are going to have to uh, talk about, uh, you know, what has happened with the whole uh, football thing, the depleted balls. Right, and, and you know, I just don't think it needs to be that complicated. At the end of the day, the league should either say, we're taking the footballs out of the control of the teams, show up on game day, men, the officials will give you the balls, here they are, play football, or the league should say to the 32 teams, you know what, have at it. Every single quarterback can doctor every single football to his heart's content, and there's no competitive disadvantage because everybody gets to do it. It just doesn't need to be this complicated. All right, so I'm going to take this in a completely different direction because you are, as we said, the former CEO of the Raiders. We have no football team in Los Angeles. And, and you know what? I am the former CEO of the Raiders who now lives back again in Los Angeles, and I'm again keenly aware that there is no football team here. Uh, so I think that one is on the horizon. Yeah, I was going to say, your ears to the ground. What's going yeah. on? Well, I think we are closer than ever to seeing the return of the NFL to Los Angeles. And frankly, had you told me 20 years ago when Al Davis and Georgia Frontieri moved their respective teams out of Los Angeles, that we would still be having this conversation 20 years later, I would have looked at you as if you were somewhat nutty. 10 years? All right, that I would have accepted. 20? I'm as surprised as anyone that it, that it is 20 years that the, the market's been without a team. I do think, though, that the market is closer than ever to seeing the return of football. Um, whether it's one team or two remains to be seen. I remain unconvinced that two teams is the right answer. Well, uh, so you think we should just have one? I think initially it makes sense, at least initially it makes sense for the league to put one team into the market, let it sink its roots in, establish itself. Sure, build the stadium to accommodate two teams. Maybe a second team joins down the road. I'm just not convinced two teams at the outset makes the most sense. Well, I mean, obviously, we've got this thing going on in Inglewood. We've got Crocky, the uh, the Rams guy, uh, you know, who's got all his money behind that thing. So is it the Rams? If you were to put some of your, you know, former Oakland Raiders CEO money on this thing, <laughs> is it the Rams? You know what? I would be smart enough, I hope, not to put money on anything at this point because I don't think the final chapter has been written. It could be any of the three teams that are the most... Uh, interested in the market, the Rams, the Raiders, the Chargers. And, you know, one thing for you to consider is this. It's not the, to bring it back to the Super Bowl. It's not the Boston Patriots. It's the New England Patriots. And New England represents the entire, uh, the, the Patriots represent the entire region. One could posit this thought. How about the Chargers representing all of San Diego, uh, Southern California? They slide up the road just a little bit, uh, and represent the region as a whole. That's one possible solution. Oh, I, I, hear, I hear where you're going with that. There, there are a lot of sites that are under consideration. The league is looking at a site downtown, uh, out in the city of industry. There are sites um, in, in Inglewood, as you mentioned, the one that Stan Kroenke has uh, obtained title to. And another site that I heard about quite a bit while walking for the Raiders, it was one that Michael Ovis was promoting, and I believe continues to promote considerably, is Carson. Yeah, yeah. I think you know things. I think you know things. And I think we're going to squeeze those out of you before uh, we get too far along here. Amy, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. It'll you. be a great uh, Gary, a great game uh, coming up this weekend. And we're all going to watch no matter what. Absolutely. Amy Trask there, CBS Sports with us live. Let's update what's happening in the uh, traffic for you right now. Brought to you by the Exogen uh, Temporal Scanner Thermometer. And here's Desmond. A lot of heavier drives than the normal because of uh, earlier issues in the San Fernando Valley that we had on the 5 in Burbank. Uh, all lanes open on that to southbound 5, but still a real stinker here from the 118 essentially down into downtown Burbank just about to the 134 a little breather through Sun Valley but that's about it uh, with the earlier signal that we had at Scott Road all lanes are open eastbound 210 as well really suffering here I'm pretty sure this is the chain reaction effect from Osborne into uh, the locking out of Flint Ridge area it looks like once you get to the two freeway though uh, you should uh, make it to the office on time and the southbound 170 still a sellout here from uh, looks like victory making it down towards the Hollywood split if you continue on to the 101 Hollywood portion from there. That's where we find Mike Baez overhead in Canix Air 107. Still quite a bit of traffic here off the 170 all the way back from Victory as you make your way into the 